All right, then, this morning we're going to look at solve uh, linear equalities. And the objective here is to solve the variable, use inverse operations to undo the operations of the inequality. And then be sure to gather like terms and do the same operation on both sides of the inequality. Okay, so what that basically means is that we're going to use order of operations or PEMDAS, and we're going to start from right to left. So we start subtraction, we end with parentheses. Another thing that I want to notate about um, inequalities is that when you divide by a negative, you're going to switch the direction of the inequality. So suppose you have negative 3n is greater than 12. If you divide or multiply by a negative number, in this case negative 3, then we're going to reverse the inequality symbol. So now we'll say that n is less than negative 4. So let's go ahead and look at our first example. So in this case, we're going to solve for c. We have five, 15 times c minus 16 less than negative 15. So the first step to do is to divide that negative 15, I'm sorry, that positive 15 on the outside of the parentheses by both sides. So when we divide negative 15 by both sides, we're going to get c minus 16 is less than negative 1. I want to get c by itself, so I'm going to take the negative 16 and add 16 to both sides. So I get c is less than 15. Okay, so our next equation, we're going to solve for m. It's also a fraction. So in this case, we're going to say m minus 1.68 divided by 4 is less than 1. I'm going to multiply the left and the right by the denominator to get rid of the fraction. So that fraction is a form of division, and I'm going to multiply the by, by a whole f number 4. So what, remember, whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. So 4 times m minus 1.68 divided by 4. My 4s cancel out, and now I get is less than 4, or 1 times 4. So m minus 1.68 is less than 4. I add 1.68 to both sides, and then I get m is less than 5.68. Here's another equation where we are going to solve for b, and it's also in a division or fraction form. So this equation is b minus 3 is divided by 8, and is less than or equal to 2. So I take both sides and I multiply the left and the right by 8. My 8's on my left cancel out, so I have b minus 3 is less than 16, or less than equal to 16. I'm going to add 3 to both sides, so I get b is less than or equal to 19. Okay, so we're going to solve for t, so I have negative 3 times negative 5t plus 13 is less than negative t minus 7 plus 20t. So I'm going to work on the left and then work on the right. So on the right hand side, the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the negative 3. So that means I'm going to multiply the negative 3 times negative 5 and negative 3 or negative 5t and the negative 3 times negative times positive 13. And then on the right hand side, I'm adding the 20t and subtracting the negative t. So I have 15t minus 39 is greater than 19t minus 7. So I'm going to subtract 15t from both sides. I'm going to get negative 39 is less than 4t minus 7. I'm going to add 7t to both sides. So I get negative 32 is less than, oh, that's incorrect, sorry, negative 32 is less than 4t, and then I divide both sides by 4. So then I get negative t is less, or negative 8 is less than t. So for this um, inequality, it's actually called a compound inequality, and let's talk about that. So basically, compound inequality has two solutions, and you use the word or 
in the solution. So V plus 20 is less than or equal to negative 2V plus 10 or V minus 8 plus 4V is greater than 4. So I'm going to solve one inequality and then the second one. So I'm just rewrote the inequalities. I'm going to add 20. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. So V plus 20 less than negative 2V plus 10 minus 20 from both sides. I get V is less than or equal to negative 2V minus 10. I'm going to add 2v to both sides so I can get v and then the very and then the constant on the other side. So I'm left with 3v is less than or equal to negative 10. So then I go back and I divide both sides by 3. So then my answer is v is less than or equal to negative 10 over 3. Okay, so on the second equation, I'm gonna gather like terms so I know 1v plus 8 plus 4v is less than four, so the V and the four V go together, so I get five V minus eight is less than four. Let's see, how do we do this? I'm just gonna write it in. So I get five V less than four, and it's minus eight. Then from here, I wanna add eight to both sides, so I can get five V by itself. I get 5v is less than 12. Then I want to divide both sides by 5. v is equal to, or excuse me, is less than 12 over 5. So my answer is just as follows. So it's going to be v is less than or equal to negative, thir negative 10 over 3 or v is less than 12 over 5, and both of those are solutions.